Hi, my name is Liv and this is me. Good morning. It's my vlog now. I'm taking over. <laughs> Basically, today we're going to show Liv all the kind of like English traditions and like proper English food. So this morning we're going to start off with an English breakfast. But no, it's going to be a vegetarian. Vegetarian English breakfast. But it's pretty much the same. And just instead of like sausages and bacon, yeah. there's like vegetarian sausages and hash browns and mushrooms and stuff. You'll see. We're going to take it to no other place than spoons, weather spoons. And if any of you English folk are watching, you'll know this is the uh, one and only place to get an English breakfast. Here, Parkstone and Heatherlands spoons. Can I show them an outfit? This is Liv's outfit for today. Cute crop top. Do you want to show them mine? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Expected to. I think it's really nice. I love these pants. They're like vintage tracksuits. This is one of these like charity shops. Is it? I've told Luke that I wanted to go like to charity shops. Is it here? Yeah. You want to zoom in on Web Street? <laughs> It wouldn't be spoons if you had guys drinking beers at 10 a.m. in the morning. Lads are drinking beers. Lads. So, like at Weather Spoons, you order on an app and then it like comes to your table. These are the the breakfast menus. These are like the normal uh, English breakfast, but we're gonna get like the we're just gonna get the vegetarian breakfast. So it's two fried eggs, two vegan sausages, baked beans, two hash browns, mushroom, tomato, slice of toast, and butter. What do you think? It's like my first um, sight. How do you say that? At first sight. Yeah. It doesn't look so good. Yeah. When you get an English breakfast at Spoons though, it's not a lot like the presentation. No. Do you want me to like show you how I eat it? Yeah. So first, you want to butter the toast while it's still warm. And this is vegan butter too. Like a really good thing about England is there's like so many vegan and vegetarian yeah, options like everywhere. Yeah, this is so true. Compared to Sweden, we don't have like almost anything and like when you go out and eat, I think like this is a lot better in like bigger cities but like in my town there's like no vegan option maybe it's like vegetarian but like no vegan I usually put like one egg on like one piece of toast you can do like beans on toast as well and this is really good well, would you like rate this restaurant do you think they make like good English breakfast yeah no no <laughs> Why did you take me here then? I took you here because it's about like the experience <laughs> of going to Weatherspoon because this is almost like a tradition itself. If you go out for like a heavy night drinking, the morning after, if you're like a lot of people, you all go down to Weatherspoon's. Oh That's so cute. You all go down to Weatherspoon's and have like an English breakfast. But also, it's so good because it's also so cheap. Like these breakfasts is like three pounds. Wow, that's really good. Mm. Okay, wait, I'm gonna go get like one more thing you have to try. I'm gonna try the beans now. Actually, I tried this one time before, but like I really like beans. Mm -hmm. To complete the English breakfast is brown sauce, and this is like a very weird sauce. I don't like it, I never have this, but it's traditional. It's kind of like vinegar. I think that's what it smells like. Oh, more than that. Mm. That's such a small amount of brown sauce. It feels like it's supposed to be a salad. So the vegetarian sausages are good? The hash brown. This is like pretty much just potato. But it's good. It's like fried potato. But I think my favorite is like the baked beans. These people were like three pints in at, yeah, at 11 a.m. in the morning. We have to catch up. <laughs> Typical England for you. You can come into any pub on a Monday morning and there'll be people drinking pints. It's just a way of life. Before work, before you drop the kids off at school. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think any other country can beat our drinking culture. Facts. That's like bad. That's not even like to brag. That's bragging about. rights. No. Yeah. That's just like, okay, your whole country is like alcoholics. We have strong livers. <laughs> Okay, that is where the spoon's done. We're back in the car now. Liv, we need a rating out of 10. 10 is your, like, the best meal you've ever had. Zero okay. is literally, like, dog poop. Like, yeah, you okay. throw up. Okay, then this was, like, maybe, like, five. Five? Okay. It's not bad on me. Like, I enjoy it. <laughs> well, I don't know why you look at me like, sorry, five. No. <laughs> no, but it's just, like, this isn't, like, the best food I've ever had. Like, yeah, I've had so good food. 
Oh, sorry. I'm like, really not taking you to the right place. But <laughs> I like when it's like different things because I don't like. This is why I want to share everything also because I want to like have something from everything. So this is what I like about like this food. And like you get so much food, so like I'm so full. And this was like the small version. Yeah, they have a bigger version. This was the small like vegetarian English mix. So like the things I like is that it's like different things. It's cheap and you get a lot of food and you feel full. What do you think about spoons? I think it was like cozy. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Did you find it funny that like other people were drinking at like yeah. 10 a.m.? Yeah, this is like, crazy. Mo like not just like one beer as well. I had like two or three on their table. On to the next. What are we doing now? We're picking out English snacks to give to you to try. Shopping basket is growing. We've only been here for like one hour now. So nice that they have like small things so that we don't need to like get a whole like bag. There's some like more chocolate stuff around there that we're gonna get like smaller. Because I was like thinking about this video and like, oh yeah, this would be so fun to do. And then thinking about all the like chocolate she's gonna eat today, she's like, fuck. <laughs> I hope we can go to the gym like the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Zula English food. I'm getting really excited. We can't eat this all in one day. Your mom's gonna see this video and she's gonna hate it. Yeah. Good? Good. Let's go. Ready? Mm -hmm. So it's been like how many hours? A couple of hours and we're home now and we're gonna try everything. Yes. And I'm so hungry. Yeah. <laughs> First thing we're gonna try is Marmite. I hate this. You put it on like bread or in like sandwiches and it's like yeasts, yeast spread, but it's like vegan and I haven't tried this in years because I hate this. But, but maybe you like it now. Maybe. Like smell it and see what you think. Wow, it smells like chocolate. It doesn't taste like chocolate. <laughs> I'm gonna like make some toast and like put this on the toast and mm -hmm. then see what you think, okay? Okay. Okay, first we're putting like a little bit of butter on it and then this deadly stuff. Oh my god. I hate this with a passion. Okay, finito. Ready? No. Do you want to go first? No, I want to do it like... Same time? Yeah. Three, two, one. No, 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 no. <laughs> What's the owl? Okay, it's really bad. It's bad, right? Why do people eat it? I don't know. Oh my god. This isn't. I hate Marmite. Are you alright? Want any more? <laughs> oh my god, so people actually eat this? Yeah. But why? People like it. <laughs> Me no gusta. No. I would never eat that again. Like, never. <laughs> no. We got some drinks too. This is Lucasade. I got like the orange one. They have like the original, which was also nice, but I thought get like the orange one because it's like the most popular. They don't have this in like any other countries. It's like just UK. What's the difference from like Fanta and this? Just the brand? Yeah, it's oh. like a little bit of different taste as well, but it's like very similar to Fanta. Yeah, it almost tastes like Fanta. Yeah. Nice but though? This is nice, yeah. But why is it a sports drink? Because it's sugar. So it's like... I want more. <laughs> powered by glucose. But this feels so nice after this other thing. Yeah. Should I explain that we're gonna eat tea cakes now? So now I wanna try these tea cakes. Biscuit base topped with marshmallow and covered with real milk chocolate. Yeah, that's pretty much it. These are you would have in like your lunch boxes as well. So it feels like you only had like sugary things in your lunch box. Oh yeah. Did you even have like lunch? I mean you'd have like sandwiches. It was all about like what you had in your lunch box other than that. Like you'd have like <laughs> these, you'd have like penguin bars. You would also like trade these little goodies. So like some people would like these more than like something you had and then we would like trade. What the fuck? That's so cool. Yeah. What I always do is I like eat the top first. Like this bit's like the marshmallow and then like this bit's the like the bottom bits of the biscuit so i always like eat the marshmallow first i want to try it like this no <laughs> <laughs> this is wrong mm. i feel like we have something similar to this and it's called like coco stoppa but we don't have this uh, biscuit like here these are really good good because we have like four more of it <laughs> do you want me to rate it oh yeah yeah we forgot to rate it okay so we'll, like wait finish this <laughs> Out of 10, what would you rate the Marmite? <coughs> zero. <coughs> tasted like shit? Yeah. No, it can't like, be zero. Yes, like... <laughs> it tasted like, like, <laughs> zero is like dog poop. Like, <laughs> yes. throwing... I don't think I could ever eat this again. Surely a one or something. Okay, one then. And what would you rate the Lucasade? Like six and a half. 
Six and a half, okay. Because it's not like, wow, like so nice. Yeah, it's like Fanta, Yeah. really. What would you rate the tea cakes? <laughs> like English people are gonna be like so offended. I'm gonna say like nice. five. I'm just thinking about like what I would like eat again. It was like nice with all the different textures, but also I think it's like too sweet. Yeah, so what would you give it? Like six maybe. Six? Mm. Okay, so these are crisps, not chips for you American Maybe you should bleep that. They're like prawn cocktail flavoured crisps, kind of. But this is like what you get when you go to like a Thai restaurant. Yeah, this is like this. Yeah? Yeah. When you go to a Thai restaurant? I don't know, it feels like it. What would you rate this out of 10? Six and a half. <laughs> a lot of six and a half. <laughs> the next drink we have is Iron Brew. And this is more of like a Scottish drink, actually. It's really popular in Scotland. I would say it kind of tastes like medicine. Medicine? Kind of. I would say so. Yeah, maybe like the after it tastes a little bit. Do you like it? Yeah, but it tastes like very artificial. Yeah, exactly. Very artificial. Mm, maybe a four. Four. Okay. Poor Iron Brew. Right. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna try Dairy Milk Freddos. This is like a chocolate that I would always eat as a kid. You also knew how much things were getting more expensive by Freddo. Like when I was a kid, they were 5p each. Every like few years it would go up to like 10p each, then like 20p each. Now it's like 30 or 40p each. So like you knew things were getting more expensive by Freddos. <laughs> but it's just Dairy Milk chocolate. This is like really nice chocolate. Have you tried like Norwegian chocolate? No, because I think like the best chocolate I know is like Norwegian chocolate. This was always like the nice amount of chocolate if you were like wanted yeah. like a snack. You eat it, you don't want it. It was like good chocolate. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is true also that you said that this is like the perfect amount of like chocolate mm -hmm. as well. And it was like cute because there was a frog. <laughs> it's perfect then, for like kids. Yeah, like a seven. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna try this. It's like the Marvelous Creations by Dairy Milk. So it's like the same chocolate company, but this one has like jelly beans and popping candy in it. This is like my favorite chocolate bar. Yeah, I'm very excited to try this one. Like, look, I put my mouth up to the microphone. <laughs> I hope you can hear that. Good. Like tingles in your mouth. <laughs> it like tingles in my brain. <laughs> I think I will give this like eight maybe or maybe this is too high because it's not like but maybe yeah 7.5 so this is like a fruit winder a fruit string that like rolls up this was also like a lunchbox thing it comes on this like roll and then like the thing is that you unravel it and it's got like two sides i've never seen anything like this you take like one of the ends but it's like gooey Maybe we should have kept it in the fridge. Maybe it's like a bit hot now. Yeah, I think it's like stuck to the paper. <laughs> it's like pretty much like melted, but it's like strawberry flavored. Well, this was actually really nice. It also tastes like more natural. And on the paper as well, there is like jokes. <laughs> we're like only trying things Kids for <laughs> This is like trying my childhood memory. <laughs> yeah. Also, like this, I would never like buy. Sometimes. I wouldn't like go somewhere and then I would like take this out and like, yeah, I'm just gonna eat now. Like, have this like this. <laughs> I would like still rate it like a five because it's like so inconvenient. Yeah, but should we try and like scrape it off so you can like see the joke? But it's funny. So here's the joke. If you want to look at it, you can just pause now. Yeah, now it's on your face. Like, I can understand that this is like very nice for kids. Yeah. And <laughs> for you, still. <laughs> yeah. I love little things like this. Free entertainment from food. But can I see the joke? I, I didn't, didn't even see I didn't even it. see it either, yeah. So there's like two fruits and they're like, I've got headphones for you. And they put the headphones on mm. and then he like oh, squishes wow. them together clicks download it comes uh, out and this is as the fruit winder yeah do you think it's the same dog and everything no it's always different now we're gonna try the monster munch crisps that are shaped in like monster claws this flavor oh is this flavor is like pickled onion yeah i like the flavor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what would you rate these maybe an eight i like it these are like scotch eggs which is like egg in the middle and then they usually put meat around the egg and then batter on top these are the like vegetarian so they're not supposed to be like warm no but you can eat them all i 
at first I was like, mm, no, but like now after I think it's nice. It's also like really good if you dip them in things. Yeah, because the only thing I think is like it's dry, right? Yeah. Like hummus. Mm -hmm. Maybe a seven. Seven. That's pretty high though. Yeah. That's good. I think you like, like the savory things more than like the sweet stuff. Yeah. There's probably like loads of like English foods that I've forgotten. So like if you want to suggest like English foods for us to try like next time, like leave them in the comments and like subscribe and then... <laughs> you should totally do this. Also we can't like eat everything in one day. Yeah, otherwise we're gonna be so fat. Yeah. And also I thought about like when you come to Sweden, if you want to try like Swedish things. Yeah. So, so you can also help me with this because I don't really know like Swedish things. Things. Yeah, and subscribe to see my reactions too. Yeah. Okay, the next thing we're gonna try, which is like one of my favorites, is like Bakewell tarts. Almond flavor sponge layered with jam and iced for a sweet treat. This is what they look like. It's like a little cake with a cherry on top. Ready? Yeah. Well, this is exactly like what we have in Sweden. What's it called? Masarine. But it's like without this. Without the cherry? Mmm. Good. Yeah. Imagine eating the whole pack of six by yourself. This would be ridiculous. You could never do this. Like when things are like this, like so sweet, this would be like perfect with a cup of like coffee. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how it is. Though. Like how we eat them in England. Although I must say like I am guilty that I have probably eaten one of those whole packs in my lifetime. Like in one day, in one sitting. But how? I used to be a bad kid. This would be ridiculous. You could <laughs> never do this. Look. Oh yeah, but they have cherries on. Yeah, but I've never eaten them with cherries. They look like this. Uh huh. But I like these more than this. Yeah. Because these are not so sweet. But it was like a really long time ago, so. Okay, we have to try this. Yeah. When you go to Sweden. So subscribe and I'll try a mazarina. 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 Yeah, so it's like very much the same. Yeah, but this is like Swedish. Yeah, but this could be fun to try. Yeah. Like for you and see if you like the Swedish ones better. Yeah, let's do it. The last drink we have is ginger beer. This you can get in like an alcoholic version too. This is just like a soft drink version. Um, but it's ginger, ginger flavored. This is also like a great drink to like mix mix to make like cocktails <laughs> you can't say this <laughs> okay if you're like under 18 like just don't just like close your ears for a second but you can make like a mocktail too which is like non-alcoholic you mm. can make a <coughs> shirley temple with like grenadine and this is like really nice try it yeah it tastes a lot of ginger but like this was really nice mm -hmm. but i can see like how this would be nice to like mix drinks with yeah i don't think i would like uh, buy this uh, Hello. Just, no. But you can you imagine like mixing with it? I think so, but maybe just like one drink. But it wasn't like my favorite, so maybe just like five. Okay. Yeah, but I guess it's because I don't like ginger so much. Okay, the last thing we have is Angel Delight. We got the banana flavor. This was like my favorite flavor as a kid. These are all like things that I had when I was a kid <laughs> that I never eat anymore. <laughs> I feel like this is an English dessert that like parents always made as a kid. Um, as a kid? It's it's really for kids. Four, four kids and it's like really cheap it's like in a powder and you mix it with milk and it creates this like kind of custardy liquid so i'm gonna make this now and she's gonna try it okay so we put 300 milliliters of almond milk in the bowl now we're gonna add this and mix i also forgot to say this but like i don't like banana flavor so much thanks for telling me this now <laughs> professional chef Okay, the last thing for her From, to try. Like, the sweet things. This is the last thing of like the snacks we made. But is it supposed to be like this? I think it's supposed to be thicker, but it didn't. maybe we did something wrong. Or maybe it is because it's like the almond milk or the oat milk. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I think so because like they don't have like the same like thick. Yeah. yeah I so did maybe it with, this is why. I did it with oat milk, so. Mmm. Or wait. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. no. <laughs> It's just like almost like a protein shake with banana flavor. Yeah, what well, my mom used to do as well, she used to like cut banana and like put it in it as well. Oh, well, yeah. So you could like eat that the banana with it. That would be like too it. much banana. Oh, it was nice. Mmm. We're eating it now like it's no tomorrow. <laughs> okay, what do you rate the Angel Delight? It was like so much better than I expected. Yeah, but like the flavor is really nice. So I would give like the flavor an eight or like seven seven and a half but like the whole thing maybe just like a six okay yeah. okay as a final little savory meal to finish us off from all the sweet stuff we're gonna have beans on toast and she's already tried beans this morning in the english breakfast but it wasn't like beans on toast really was it like we had toast and like i put them on the toast yeah but this but, like, is gonna be like proper beans on toast so we've made the beans has to be heinz 
baked beans. I feel like it also wasn't like the good beans we had this morning. No. Like, as you said, yeah. these are like more creamy and stuff. Yeah. Like what we do now, take the fork out. Are you going to pour it over? Yeah, you pour it over like this. And then we get the marmite. No. <laughs> Oh. Beans on toast. So this is how you eat beans on toast. Yeah. And like what I sometimes do is I put like an egg on it too. You can do it with like more stuff as well. And make like a kind of like a full meal out of it. Knife and fork jobby. Good. Mm -hmm. It's like nice to have like something for the beans to sit on, like the toast, mm -hmm. which is like more savory. Then it's like your toast, so it's like crunchy and then it's like creamy. Mm-hmm. But you like this, yeah? Yeah, I really like this. Okay, what do you rate this? Maybe like eight. 2.5 Ooh. So later on I'm gonna take you to try fish and chips mm -hmm. I hope you enjoy it <laughs> Trying out my childhood snacks That's pretty much what it's been Yeah My childhood lunchbox snacks <laughs> Yeah We are at the fish and chip shop Like the sun's just setting right now And I'm actually really hungry now After eating all that junk food Yeah I'm not actually that hungry <laughs> I'm like hungry yeah. for eat, like real it. food So like the fish you get in England is cod Or you can get other fish but like the best one is cod I don't usually eat fish but like I'm gonna try it for the video Because yeah. it's worth that <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see what you think. This is my local. Your local. My local fish and, fish and chip shop. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Excited. Uh, what size fish, boy? Like medium. Yeah. Thank you. Go, 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 go. Got her fish and oh. chips. This is so much food. Yeah, it is. And it's thick. Okay, we are... Is connected. Shut the f*** up. Okay, so we are parked along sandbanks and let's gonna try the fish and chips. With this view behind. So nice. Lovely. Lovely. Unwrap it, baby. This. Yes. It's so big. What, the chips? Yeah. That's how the fish and chip shop chips are. That's crazy. Oh wow, that's a big cod. I shouldn't have got large, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like pour over these? Oh, Salt and vinegar. Vinegar? Yeah, that's the typical English chip and chip, fish and chip shop. Chip but, and chips. <laughs> but he didn't put enough on. Nice? Yeah. It's so hot. Good? Mm -hmm. I feel like it really needs salt and vinegar. Okay, maybe we go Tesco and buy vinegar. Because oh, I need you to see the real experience. <laughs> I feel like every country has their like special dish. This feels always like an unhealthy dish. What, like, in every country? Yeah. Or do you like know a country that has like their special dish is like really healthy? I guess like Indian, like curries. Some curries are like really healthy. It's like so much oil and like this. Yeah, they use a lot of oil. Yeah. Will this fix it? It's not going to fix it. You already like it. But I think it's going to be better with vinegar. So I bought vinegar. Not too much, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not too much. Like Better? Mmm, yeah. <laughs> it didn't taste the different. There's the vinegar. <laughs> But is it better? Yeah, maybe it tastes a little bit more now. And you said like it's a huge portion and you've nearly demolished the whole thing. <sighs> we we really like, need to go to the threw, gym tomorrow. We threw like half of it away. Okay, Liv. I would rate this, um, I would rate this a seven. Not because it doesn't like, it tastes good, it's just like, it feels so unhealthy. Yeah. It was really, really nice to try. And it was really, really nice to try all of these things today. Yeah? Yeah, I liked it. So what do you think are the best out of everything today you've tried? What is like a life-changing thing, you think? Like, <laughs> what, would think, you, what would you want to try like again, like often? Maybe like baked beans on toast. Yeah, this is like a really good snack, I think. You're gonna be in England for another week or so. So if you want her to try any more English foods in the future vlogs, like write them in the comments. And also write in the comments what you wanna see Luke try when he comes to Sweden and make sure to subscribe for this video. And thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. I am sad if